Hey guys, it's Ants on a Vlog here with another video. I know it's been a while since I've recorded videos, and that's because, um, I was not enjoying the editing of the videos, and it was taking a super long amount of time, so now I've decided to do more vlog-style videos, as in my name, and that will help me show you guys the ants, which is the goal of this channel, to share my ant-keeping experiences without me having to go through all the editing, and which is what caused me to stop making the videos in the first place. So today we will be um, watching my, well I'll just be showing you guys my um, Tetramorium Shushime colony, my super colony. You can see there's literally three queens right here, um, just out in the outworld, and there's maybe like a hundred workers, and there's many many more. Now these guys are also known as the Japanese pavement ants. You can see the queen right there. There's one queen, and this is in here. The Japanese pavement ants are obviously from Japan, but they've actually immigrated over to the U.S. in North America in, I believe, three states, um, if I'm not mistaken, and my state happens to be one of them. But these guys are absolutely everywhere. Because, as, you, as you'll see in a second, because they um, have so many queens, it's due to their queens joining so easily together. They just kind of take over and kill the native species, which is why I removed these guys from my yard. And instead of killing them, I decided to keep them, and my ants can a hybrid nest. Um, and I've been brood boosting them. That's why I, there's this big clump of dirt in here, um, because I will take brood from other colonies and put it into this colony. And I actually found another huge colony that I'm going to add to this colony, so they'll have maybe 50 queens in total. Um, you can see, here's the honey right there, but if you notice, the honey is actually covered in the dirt from their setup, and that's just, it didn't happen, there was no wind inside my house, it's because I've noticed these ants like to cover whatever fluid they find, um, and try and kind of keep it from evaporating, which is really cool. Um, another thing is that you guys will see when I open up the ants canada nest is these guys do not work with red film um so I can't use like my ants over here um as a sneak peek for future videos for you guys here's one of their test tubes I can't use red film on these guys because their eyesight um gets past it and they kinda freak out either way when you uncover them so I'm about to open up the nest here and you can see just how many ants there is now there is a lot, a lot of ants, guys. There's about 10 queens in this chamber alone. You can see the piles they're standing on, the brood piles, um, that I, they got from the log that I put in. There's their main one right here in the middle. You can see how huge it is. Each of those little larvae is going to be an ant. And sorry that my camera's not the best quality here. You can see the dirt they dragged into the nest right there, and you can see just how many queens there is. There's a little bit of precipitation. I put in too much water one day, and hopefully they'll drink that up. There's just, like, there's an entire colony in, like, this chamber alone. So I'll just take a look at all these guys. Yeah, but I was really excited to show you guys this massive colony that's going to double their size, and probably, like, 10 times their size because they have so many queens and because I'm about to add double the amount of queens it's just gonna be insane but yeah I just can see their brood up there and they are freaking out as you can see they're running out of the nest through here, and that's why you'll usually find the queens in the outworld. But yeah, this is the Ants Canada um, hybrid nest. As you can see, it's for Formica, because this was the first nest that came out, and I got it when it came out, and I finally have a colony suitable for it. I actually got a colony of the same species, Tetramorium Shushime, before this, that ended up dying. Um, they only had two queens and not near as many workers. And then you can see here is the colony I plan to add. I fed them some honey. 
You can see they don't have near as many workers, um, but do not be mistaken, they have tons and tons of queens. They're all underground. They have at least 15 queens that will be adding to this colony. Probably way more. I probably underestimated that by a lot. But the honey fell off the parchment paper, and now they're all enjoying that. I noticed that two of these queens actually have died, so I need to be careful and add these guys as soon as possible. Before the, um, because I noticed that they did take the food out of the queen's gaster. They did rip it open, and we're trying to drag it out of their container over there. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the new kind of setup I have going on where I do these vlog videos where I record and I talk at the same time. The footage is pretty good. I'm just using my phone. I don't have really a fancy camera or anything. But I think you can see the ants, you can see the nest, and I think it's really getting the message across that I want to give of showing you guys just why I like ants so much and how cool these colonies really are. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please consider subscribing, and thank you for watching the video. Bye.